Hey people, it's Lorena here with my girl Scala Rose. What's up, what's up? Haven't seen you since Planet Asia. The end of 2011 or one? Yes, yes, yes it was. You, I swear that night the rhymes that you spit was so deep. Oh, my sister, you. it was thank so, so deep. I don't even know how, I can't even put it into words, man. Like, I don't, I don't scream for people. Like, I go to a concert if I enjoy it, okay, that was good. I scream for my girl Scarlett because she touched my soul. I was like, yo, that's my girl. That is my sister. <laughs> <laughs> yes, man. I can feel you, you are my soul sister. And I was like, you know, from, from then on, even when you performed at, um, the breast cancer awareness thing. Yes, ma'am. Yes, with Laura Martinez. With Laura Martinez. Yes, yes. Shout out to Laura Martinez, by the way. What up, dog? Um, that was a very nice event. Yes, it was. No, it, she, it was. She, she worked hard with that event. And you know what? I can tell that she really put her effort into that. Yes. I can tell because it wasn't just something thrown together. No. She had like. The breast cancer little shot glasses, the little shots for, you know, breast cancer and all the proceeds. She had all the little things. It was nice. The, the jello shots, that's what they were. The yeah, jello she shots. Did, she did dollar jello shots and 50% of the proceeds of the night and, and as well as some of the drinks, some of the special breast cancer awareness drinks that were went and sold that night, including the jello shots were donated to the actual cause. That's you know, uh, everybody there was there to perform for a bigger and better purpose, and, mm -hmm. and she made sure to let every opera, every artist get their, you know, just just time, you know. Right. Uh, they were able to get that opportunity to perform and do well, and you know, and, and probably get the opportunity that they sometimes don't get to do something positive. Thank you, Laura Martinez. A lot of people don't even see the value in that. How can and she? what she what she does mm -hmm. for people because the only people that will truly understand are the people that she's helping. Exactly. Exactly. And just the fact that she's able to help a grand scale of people all at once, it's not just one person at a time. You probably helped like 15 people that night and didn't even know it. Yeah. You probably only planned to help like five, but other people that were there, it, you know, you helped them out in a way that you didn't even know. Exactly. I mean, there was, uh, there was a few even males that rapped that night, and, and one of them was actually, um, like, uh, I believe it was either a girlfriend or, or or a spouse yes, of his, he actually has the yeah, breast cancer, yeah, yeah. you know, or or some type of cancer, and it was it was um he was actually able it was to yeah, express himself. yeah, and he was yeah. able to, and he had a song for her and everything else, you know. So it was one of those nights where you know people got to do more than just you know just show off their talent, you know, they got to do something deeper. By the way, I'm um, not to cut you off. By the way, most of these events that we're talking about, you can see footage of these events on Federal Rangers channel. So go ahead and check those out so you can keep up and see exactly what we're talking about so you're not in the dark about it completely. Exactly. Oh, by the way, parental advisory is <laughs> parental advisory is suggested. Yes, definitely. <laughs> even, even though a lot of these events are, are charity events, you know, they are also for entertainment purposes and for adults entertainment at that. So, you know, it, it can be rated PG-13. Tell me what you've been up to since then, like, I mean, I touched on two little things that you've been doing. What else have you been up to? Um, I'm actually uh, working for Broad College now, doing financial aid. Hey! Hey! You know what I mean? Exactly. Uh, outside of that, um, I'm still doing music, working on a new CD, uh, working on the Scarlet Letter, gonna re-release uh, the Scarlet Fever, it's contagious, uh, re-engineered. Um, working on a new project now with my son's father, so this is something that's gonna be completely in house and I'm I'm really excited about it. It's awesome. gonna be it's 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 gonna have a flavor that none of the other CDs could possibly have. Yeah. Oh yeah, the Scarlet Fever album. Yeah, the Scarlet Fever is okay. contagious. Give me your favorite track and why? Uh Third Eye. Uh, me and my son's father put that together. That was our first project and something that we should have been doing years ago that we finally put together. Um, outside of that I mean like I have uh, Pimp Game, which is surprisingly one of my favorite tracks. Like, if I'm really gonna like sit back and listen to my CD and enjoy it and just have fun with it and listen and laugh, Pimp Game definitely brings the fun out of the CD. 
you know, if, if, the, if anything else is going to, you know, pump you up, it's going to be pin game between Flawless DMC and Surgeon General, Robin Mikes, you know, it's, it's, Oh, it's you, you collabed with Surgeon General? Yeah. Surge, oh, nice. I, and I collabed on Surge's last, last project, too. Yeah, you know, I've known him for a while, and that was also long overdue, something we should have done for a while. Despite what most people think, Surgeon General is a very down-to-earth dude. Yes, he is. And he reminds me of one of my uncles. He okay. really does. <laughs> <laughs> I have an uncle like Surgeon General. Surge is, like, actually one of the, like, one of my first people that, um, that introduced me to the hip-hop scene where I actually met him in a battle. And I battled him and lost, you know, and I was like maybe 15, 16. And, you know, he got on the mic and he was just like, yo, he's like, the only person who even gave me competition was the girl. He's like, that's bad for y'all, for y'all niggas. And, and, you know, years later we ended up collabing and working on music. Uh, he saw me performing in South Beach uh, years later and he remembered me and he was just like, yo, I'm here to support you. And he came out and, you know, and he showed so much love, you know, and, and continued to always support all the shows that I did. and. You know, a lot of the ventures that I got into, he always had my back. You know, so that's my dude. That's my dude. That's what's up. Well, we're gonna go for a short break and we'll be back with some more. Game, have the taste of my back hand. Didn't know you made